Good morning, welcome to Breakfast with John Kay and Sally Nugent. Hello there, our headlines this morning. The countdown to the budget. The Chancellor promises a new age of optimism, but he faces pressure to do more to help people struggling with the rising living costs. But what about those promises to level up outside of London? Well, I brought the sofa to Burnley to find out what people are hoping to hear from the Chancellor later today. The Queen pulls out of hosting a reception at the Global Climate Summit in Glasgow on medical advice. Good morning, it's a perfect 10 for the Lionesses as England show Latvia no mercy in their World Cup qualifier to continue their unbeaten run. And the emotional moment, D-Day veteran Harry Billinge finally sees the Normandy Memorial that he helped fund. All a waste of life, marvellous men, marvellous men. This, this is marvellous memorial. I never thought I'd be here, really. Morning, everybody. Wednesday, the 27th of October. And our main story is that the Chancellor, Rishi, Rishi Sunak, will deliver his budget later today with a promise to prepare for a new post-COVID economy. A number of policies have already been announced, of course, including NHS funding and a rise in the national living wage. But the government is under pressure to do more to help people struggling with the rising cost of living. Here's our political correspondent, Chris Mason. <laughs> 